Hello friends, uh, spent about six to eight hours looking for morels in the last couple weeks, haven't found anything. Check the old spots, looking for new spots. Uh, nothing yet, but I did just find a couple right here. Uh, a couple yellows, Morcella esculentas, there's a uh, slippery elm nearby. Um, so yeah, there's the slippery elm in front of that walnut. And here are the morels. This one's folded over. Well, yeah, there's my first couple. Hopefully, uh, find some more. Let's uh, keep looking around and see what else we can find. All right, there's a lot of good mushrooms on this uh, down tree. Here's some auricularia. Boing, 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 boing. Those are cool. Freshies. Probably auricularia uh, americana, the wood ear. That is an edible mushroom with caution. Let's see what else we got. Violet tooth polypore. They're looking very violet today. There's some cool shelf fungus. A pinkish on top. I'm not sure what those ones are. Oh god. Oh no. Those are huge. Some old puff balls. Oh my gosh. Giant morels. Oh wow. Okay. It's time to play. Can you see the mushrooms? There are many. Wow. This is incredible. This is what I've been looking for. Probably looked at 300 trees by now, but this is the one I was looking for the whole time. Let's check these out. <laughs> that is big. Oh, here comes the rain. All right, so here's one. Let's see how many uh, we can get out of this honey hole with the broken glass. It's probably, I think I can see at least 10 right now. Two. Three. Here's one that's kind of fallen over, might have been trampled. Four. And you can see how the older ones are uh, lighter in the pits and the younger ones are darker there aren't actually uh gray morels they're just yellow morels that haven't released their spores yet haven't sporulated this is uh, morcella esculenta and so is this one let's see number five six little guy seven Eight. Nine. Man, these are huge. Look at that thing. And this cluster, whoa. Okay, hold on. Where was I, eight? <laughs> what a cluster. Nine. Ten, eleven. Oh, got some slugs in that one. Twelve.
13. Oh, wow. There's more up there. This is wonderful. 14. Sixteen. Seventeen. I'm gonna leave you, little guy. Wow. All right, I don't see any more in there. Let's go under to the bottom side here. Asterium, false turkey tail. So left us some pear-shaped puffballs. Yeah, huh? I don't see any down here. I guess that's it. Oh, these are cool too. Might be. Yep. Got some dryad saddles, pheasant backs. Um, wow, it's pretty early for uh, pheasant backs. You can see how they're kind of washed out because it's been raining so hard. There's another one up there. Um, that's a cool edible fungus. I might take a couple of these little ones actually. So yeah, it's dryad saddle, pheasant back. You can see it has these kind of uh, hexagonal pores and the little kind of scaly feathery bits. It's the name uh, pheasant back. But yeah, you can eat these when they're young or kind of cut off the margins when they get larger like this. Um, but that's exciting. I don't usually find these this early. This is a great spot. Wow, I feel really fortunate to have found uh, this morel honey hole and the pheasant backs are a bonus. Uh, this is what you're looking for, a big recently dead tree. Uh, this is an elm tree. There aren't that many ash trees left because of the inner, uh, emerald ash borer here, but uh, the uh, big trees are few and far between, but that's what you're looking for. Don't waste your time with the smaller ones. I haven't had much luck with those, uh, except for the uh, two morels I found earlier. Uh, but uh, this is really great. Uh, very excited, gonna try these tonight and uh, have a couple more weeks of morel hunting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, head on out of here, get off the uh, hilltops, and let's go look down in the flats, down by the water. See if we can find any uh, mushrooms down there. Let's go. Okay, so uh, now I'm down at the spot where I did my December mushroom hunt uh, video with the enoki mushrooms. Um, so let's see if uh, looking for enoki mushrooms in December does actually lead to finding morels. Uh, in the spring. There's lots of elm trees and sycamores here, so let's go see what we can find. Well, here's some elm trees. There's a dead one over there. Uh, I don't see any mushrooms, though. Here's how you can tell the American elm. Kind of has this uh, layer cake. Dark and light layers. And the bark. Let's go look at this dead guy. It's another American elm, or was, or barely holding on. Don't see any here either. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, we got some sycamores up here. Let's go check those out. I'm not sure if. The morels actually grow in a relationship with the sycamores, or they just happen to be in the same habitat. So there's a million sycamores, I couldn't look under all of them, but it might be worth looking. 
Oh man. Yep. I mean, the elm trees are all pretty far away. Right in the middle of all these sycamores. All right, some big blonde uh, morels. There's two of them laying over. I don't see any others. That's great. Oh yeah. That's a big dude. Wow, those are nice. Let's see if there's any more. I don't see any more. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Two more. Let's see how this one has not released all its spores yet. Still a little dark in the pits here. Cool. Let's see if there's any more here. Oh, yep. And there's another one over there, and another one over there, and another one over there. Oh man, this is my lucky day. Wish you guys could be here. Uh, I'll work a bit. Right by those morels. Look at all these ink caps. Uh, you see how they start out yellow? And black, blackish brown, and then they just turn into absolute mush. Decomposing. Very cool. Here's another one. It's been really, really stormy heavy rains you can see how that kind of toppled a lot of these over a little floppy still pretty good though I might cut off some of those darker spots another good one all right here's another one laid over nice nice big one look at that thing beauty what is that, like 10 so far? All right, let's keep looking. Well, well, here's a couple more. Um, they're kind of spaced out sporadically here in the flats, the floodplain. That one is a little rotten. I will not be taking that one. Mm, that one's questionable. I'll decide at home if I want to consume that one. Maybe I'll just give it to someone else. <laughs> All right, there's two more. There's gotta be some others. Oh, there's a little one. Oh, yep. There's a little one. That one over here. Nice one. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty neat. I'm up to like 12 or 15 now. Looking. Ooh, and this is interesting. You might see this and think someone had come by and already picked a morel, but in fact, this is a cup fungus. Um, a Paziza genus cup fungus. I'm not sure which one. It could be Paziza varia. Uh, it's definitely not a vinegar cup, because those have ribs and a little stem. Um, but yeah, not a morel stem. That is a cup fungus, pretty cool. All right, let's see if there's any more morels. See, yep, 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 yep. Uh, it's a big dog, oh, he's got a little hole in him. That's how the slugs get in. Oh, wow, that's a great one. Oh, there's another big one right there. Oh, there's a little one right there. Okay, I almost have more than I could ever need, to be honest. 
Maybe I'll try to sell these for $70 a pound. Younger, fresher. Good one. All right, here's three more. I almost tripped over. child somewhere. Chase is not on the case today. Chase is down. Uh, I have one more on this. Uh, I've lost count but it's got to be more than 20 at this point. It's got to be more than 20. Uh, here's something interesting. So these are more of the uh, glistening ink caps uh, or mica caps. These ones are much younger, but yeah, they do come out in force, big groups, lots of mushrooms, pretty cool. Uh, there's just a little guy, we'll leave him. Oh man, that was an exciting day of mushroom hunting, very successful. Uh, uh, found at least 30 here. I stopped filming after a while. It was getting kind of redundant. Uh, yeah, 30 down here in the flats by the lake and 20 up on the elm tree on the hilltop. Uh, so that's uh, pretty darn good for an afternoon. Uh, I can't wait to get home and weigh this bag. See how many pounds I got. Let's go. All right, so I'm home now. I did it. I mushroom hunted. Just under uh, five pounds, just weighed these uh, with a few pheasant backs in there. Um, but what a fantastic day of mushroom hunting. Uh, really had a great time out there, even though the weather was a little bit cold and rainy. Uh, really feel validated about looking for the Enokis in December. Uh, it's a good spot for morels in the spring. Um, down in the floodplains where the sycamores and the elm trees and the silver maples mingle and also in the upland areas looking for the nearly dead big ash trees and elm trees um, so yeah i hope you enjoyed that i uh, hope you uh, get a chance to get out there and look for some mushrooms yourself and i'll see you next time on mushroom journeys